Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to LWP MC. Before we get into the video, I'd really like to ask you guys to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on post notifications if you guys enjoy so that you never miss another upload. It really supports me. It's super simple, free. All you have to do is hit that red subscribe button right below the video, and it's a really easy way of helping me out. So please go subscribe. Now, at first glance, this might just look like to you your normal, everyday survival Minecraft house. But in reality, it's actually a little bit bigger than it looks. This is the Immersive Portals mod, and I am going to teach you the simplest and best way to use it and install it on your Minecraft server today. All you need to do is go to the link to the Immersive Portals mod in the description box, and you will be able to install it on a Fabric server. So you'll need this and the Fabric API to be able to run the most basic version of Immersive Portals, which is what I have on the server right now. So you go here and you select the version that you want to download it on. All you have to do is drop the jar file inside the mods folder in your Fabric server, and you can run Immersive Portals easily and freely. This video is sponsored by Sangata. Sangata is the one-stop shop intended to make finding the ideal plugins for your Minecraft server simple. They uphold reasonable and just business practices by acknowledging client and creator feedback and are continually improving their platform. Make sure you guys check them out with the links below to find unique plugins for your Minecraft server. Now that we're back in game and we have the Immersive Portals mod installed on our Fabric server, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to use the Immersive Portals mod. So um, if you want a small building to become a large building or vice versa, all you need is just a basic portal shape. It can be as small as you want. It can be that big or I'm just going to, I think I'm going to actually do this big. And as you can see, we have our nice little house in here that we've built. So what you're going to want to go to is in the creative menu. It's called portal helper. And you're going to need a flint and steel as well. We're going to place portal helpers. Make sure your portals are the exact same shape. And then you're just going to light one of them. It will look a little bit weird at first but you can go ahead and destroy the portal helpers after you're finished with them. And what's super cool about this mod is that you can actually destroy blocks through the portals. I'm just gonna fill them back in with oak planks. We have the nice house connected back and forth and there's absolutely no delay when you're moving between them. Even when you're in here, you can see just as far as you can out of here. It's super simple to install and use on your server. Now I'm going to show you some other things that immersive portals can do. So if you look up portal, then there are a bunch of these different wands. I'm only going to cover the delete portal entry, make portal one way and one faced, and completely remove the portal. So if we make the portal completely one way and one faced. If we do that, then now we can only get in through here. We can't go back out here. Now, if you want to delete the portal entity, then it will delete the portal from there. So you can't see it. Uh, but you can still walk through it unless you delete both sides of it, in which case you cannot use the portal at all. And then if you accidentally create a portal like I just did, where I accidentally lit it, then it's super easy. All you have to do is right click on either one of the portals with the remove portal stick and it will remove the portal entirely. So, in conclusion, if you want a really cool way to trick your friends and mess with their heads 
using this mod. It's super easy to install and super easy to use and works amazingly well with practically any server and version of Minecraft that you can have. I would 100% recommend using this plugin on a server who you want your builds to not take up too much space, but you also want them to look super cool on the inside, or if you want to trick your friends or make your base bigger, but not take up too much space on the outside like this one is here. Uh, I would 100% recommend this mod uh, for any sort of Minecraft server, even if you don't know if you want to use it yet. It is just a really great fundamental mod to have and possibly, in my opinion, it's the best mod out there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.